Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an hourglass review. I will be reviewing the new Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil as well as the new shade of the Scattered Light. If you guys are wondering what my thoughts about them are, just keep on watching. Well, I'm super excited to get into the uh, new Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. I purchased the shade Soft Brunette. I've never tried Hourglass brow products, but I've tried a majority of Hourglass complexion products. So this is super exciting to me. Um, I don't even know how the formula is going to be or anything in that nature. So the pencil is very luxurious. Um, it looks like a standard eyebrow pencil. It's pretty small and thin. The shape is an oval. So the shape of this pencil reminds me a lot of the M Cosmetics brow pencil. Hers is shaped exactly like this and I love that pencil shape. I don't like the triangle shape that they have. It's just too thick and I can't get fine lines with it. Sorry about my brows. Um, I had to pluck them real quick because they were out of control. I really hope this shade works out for me. So I really like the shade. I picked out Soft Brunette. It is the perfect brown for my skin tone. I don't like it super cool or I don't like it super warm. So this is a great neutral shade. So I like the pencil already. I'm not using too much product. I barely even twisted it up. It's giving me precise lines. It's not super creamy. It's more of that sturdy waxy feeling. But it gave me a, such a beautiful look and I'm get, definitely going to clean it up with some concealer. But I so far really like it and I didn't even use that much. So this is definitely a buildable brow product. And whenever you use this fully, it really blends the product into your brow. Some brow pencils don't do that for me. And I really like the tip of this pencil. It gives brow-like strokes. and the product really stays where you put it. So I just threw on some concealer to clean up the brows a little and I'm in love with this pencil. It literally was so easy to fill my brows in and shape them and I didn't twist up the pencil too much. So I'm really happy with this pencil. It did a great job. Honestly, you get uh, other good pencils for a lower cost, but if you love Hourglass and you wanna try a luxe um, eyebrow pencil, this is pretty good and I like it so far, um, no complaints. So is this pencil necessary? No, but if you love Hourglass and you want to try it out, I would recommend it. A good alternative is the M Cosmetics Brow Pencil. This retails for $18, same shape. I feel like they have the same formula. Um, this one's just a little bit more creamy. This one's a lot waxier. So to finish out my brows, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I love this gel and it's only $5. I use it all the time. This is actually my second tube. And it gives you that feathery brow look, even if you don't have brow hairs. But the only downside is that it does leave like a white little cast on it. So all you gotta do is press down and it goes away. So enough with the brow pencil. They also launched four new shades of their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I have Smoke, I have Reflect, and now I picked up the shade Ray, which is a deeper champagne shade, and I am so excited. These are the best eyeshadow toppers ever. I do like the Natasha Denona ones, but those are more of like on the sheen side and not so much glittery side. This one is so metallic and glittery. It's just so beautiful and it lasts all day on the lids and it doesn't crumble on your lids. Um, so here is the shade Ray. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. The formula is just so nice and creamy and it's just packed with such finely milled glitter. Let me swatch um, smoke and reflect for you guys. So I did only pick up one of the new fall shades because um, the other shades didn't really speak to me. There was like a green, bronze. I'm not really into 
shades like that to buy it anyways, but here is Smoke. So Smoke is more on the taupe side. I use this one quite a lot and here it is. So it has more of a taupey brown undertone. And here's Reflect. I use this one a lot as well. I honestly use both of these a lot. That's why I had to purchase Ray because I know I'm going to use it. It just gives an extra shazam to any makeup look that you put in. So here is Reflect. Excuse my nails. So Reflect, Smoke, and Ray. So the Scatter Light is the best to just shazam up a makeup look. Um, it really does enhance your makeup looks if you just top it off just a little. So I'm gonna put Ray all over my lids, but I will be doing a makeup look with this. Um, just wanna show you guys what it looks like on the lids alone. This is literally so gorgeous. I'm so excited. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and then top it off. So I decided to finish off my makeup, but I left this eye bare for the scattered light glitter and I barely tap it onto my lid because this look, I'm not trying to go intense and it just literally blends itself. Like I said, it makes a simple look more dramatic and glam. All right, so to finish off my face, I know this isn't an hourglass product, but it is new to me and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna finish off my lips with the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in the shade Canatonic. And my manager actually gifted this to me for my birthday. I'm super excited because it's gonna give that um, my lips a better color. I have the Laneige um, lip treatment on, so let me just wipe that off. And I like this because it's just a casual lip shade and I feel like you could just throw this in your bag and reapply it anywhere without having a mirror. It might not even show up on my lips because my lips are pretty pigmented. Okay, I like it. It's like a lip balm with a tint. Very comfortable for the summer. It is so hot here in Texas. I don't know if it's hot anywhere else, but my face is gonna melt off the minute I walk outside. All right, so that is it for my demo slash review. My end thoughts about these products, um, definitely recommend the Scattered Light in Ray. I, like I said, I have literally three of them and I use them all the time. They never go old, they don't dry up. And then the eyebrow pencil, I like it, but do I recommend it? Meh, probably not. I mean, I'm gonna use all of it. I probably won't repurchase because I like the M Cosmetics eyebrow pencil a lot better. Um, it's just creamier and it's literally the same thing for $10 less. So if you love Hourglass and you want to support their brand, yes, it's a good product. Yes, buy it. But if you're on a budget and you need an eyebrow pencil that works just fine, no. It just depends on what you're willing to pay for. Um, I don't recommend it because there are such good products for a lower cost than $28. Like I said, the e.l.f. one is only $5 and I use that one all the time. It's literally like a high-end brow pencil and then the next one on my list would be the NYX micro brow pencil ten dollars I've been using that one for years and then it would be the M cosmetics one for $18 um, and they all kind of work the same in my opinion that's why I use them all the time and the highest cost eyebrow pencil that I own is the hourglass one for $28 and I just I don't know, I wouldn't repurchase it because it literally works the same. It didn't wow me. Um, it is good, it just didn't blow me out of the water. So yeah, that is it for my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys out and I will see you in my next one.